Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends they know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's Vance McDonald's 49ers going up against Jordan Reed's Redskins. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, we are due east from our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. A few minutes ago, it sounded like the 4th of July on the National Mall as the hometown Redskins were introduced to this sold-out crowd. They are set to go as their guys will match up with the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we saw Larry focus on the tight end matchup in his open. You think it's one to watch, don't you? Definitely one to watch because these guys can create such big plays by all the different things they can do. Line up out wide in the slot, line up in a normal tight end position, and then who are you going to cover them with? Is it a linebacker, a defensive back? They create mismatches all throughout the game. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he spins through. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State. The former Spartan, it's Kirk Cousins. I think he just gets better and better. He was third in the NFL in passing yardage in 2016. In fact, over the last two seasons, over 9,000 yards passing, the fourth most in the NFL. it up around the 22 and no further did show some power on the run but not a whole lot of room two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight and here a look at the offensive starters for the Redskins the Washington offense in 2016 ended up ranked in the top five in the NFL in fact they're number three overall so how did they get it done? Well, head coach Jay Gruden, he's the guy who's really the master play caller. He's known for his ability to throw the football, but he'd love to run it. They were only number 21 in the league in 2016, coupled with number two in throwing the ball. If they're able to get their running numbers up, they could really be dangerous in 2017. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and it's third down. And a look now at the defensive starters for San Francisco. Jimmy Ward has the ability to play multiple positions in the secondary. I think his best spot is in the nickel corner. Able to utilize his instincts, able to utilize his strength. He can take on any of the receivers inside and match up with their quickness or their height. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Play action, Cousins. Jordan Reed has it. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. Cousins to his big target. Reed and the Redskins have a first down. I don't think there's any question that Jordan Reed is as athletic as any tight end in the league. All right, I don't think there's any debate about that. The hard part is just him being able to be healthy. And when he's on the field, though, boy, does he take them to another level, doesn't he? He certainly does. Changes the game for them because they can use him in so many different spots and create mismatches against the defense. Cousins on first down. Josh Doxson's got it complete. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. It's good to see Josh Dotson back on the field. Only two games played as a rookie due to an injury. They need his high-flying ways to spark their offense. And they expect a lot out of those high-flying ways. Third wide receiver taken in last year's draft. Hey, 
A first down throw for Cousins. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Second down here after the incomplete pass. They'll hand it off to Kelly. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. On third down, Cousins. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. After that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll run it now out of the gun. Down right around the 25. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down, Cousins. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. carry for Carlos Hyde. Finds a seam inside the 40. And they'll get him to the ground, but he got all the way down to the 30-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. I think we saw some of the best qualities of Carlos Hyde on that run. Able to pick up something there, being physical running the football. But I think he's got really good vision and great feet. He's going to be the key to this offense really being revitalized. A 
on second down. Hyde. A nice move he had, but can't break away. And he's brought down just inside the 30. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down and about nine to go. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Here we go now. Green, 39. Here's Hoyer. And he finds McDonald. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. That would give to the big fullback use check. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Now, that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Second and goal. Defense digging in again here. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. From the three-yard line again, they'll try and punch it in here on third and goal. Now Hoyer. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Ryan Kerrigan in there to get him for a loss of three, and it'll be fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Here's Barkley. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. Well, I see what they were trying to do there. You pop up your holder, roll them out. You got the option to run or pass. This didn't work. Not at all. The communication was excellent defensively to make sure that receivers were covered as they escaped from the line of scrimmage because that's supposed to be a surprise to everyone, and that's how they get free. People forget their assignments on defense. That didn't happen. And think about the guy rolling out with the football looking for an open person. No one there. Helpless feeling. Helpless because that gap between you and defenders now is going to close and close quickly. now after the fumble recovery and a hook up over the middle to Pryor and he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18 that throw good for four it's second down I know college coaches always recruit quarterbacks because they're so versatile I'd say Terrell Pryor fits that bill a thousand pass yards at one point in the NFL and then turned around and became a thousand yard receiver second player in NFL history to do that how about that yeah Marlon the magician Briscoe was the first Cousins now on second down. Caught on the right side, Reed. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Yeah. 
fumbles. That's how you get in the coach's doghouse. The first one lost, and it hurt. This time you lose it, and it's taken in for a score. It really hurt. And about that doghouse, it won't exactly be comfortable, and it definitely won't be air-conditioned. Milk bones? None. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Now it's Chris Thompson on the return. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And here come the Redskins now. And job one here, Charles. Just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Starts with Rob Kelly, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. Third down here. A little too much oomph. Too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. the gun. Here's Cousins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. They go play action here on first down. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by DJ Swearinger. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Running right with Kelly. Oh, good move. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Brandon, all that dancing and juking is great, but sometimes you have to just leave that on the ballroom floor, put your nose down, and try and gain some yardage. Was one good move, but couldn't get anywhere. Tackled for a loss. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. Off the play fake. Cousins. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. He was looking for Terrell Pryor that time. And it's third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. Play action now. Cousins. And the Niners get there and bring him down. DeForest Buckner in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way on to punt. Jeremy Curley is deep to return for the 49ers. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Here's Hyde as they begin on the ground. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. Getting the sense Charles are gonna put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Again, it's high. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the 3-yard gain brings up a third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll run it. Here's Hyde. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Lead 
The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. fake here on first down and his throw is incomplete Vance McDonald the tight end was the target and that'll bring up second down let's face it you can run the route tree as many times as you want get in sync practice it do all those things but once you get to game speed it doesn't always time up quite that well that one goes incomplete sat out three seasons this is Tim Hightower and this time he's going backwards so after the no gain on the last attempt here they get him behind the line don't forget about finding a the lane there he barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football The Niners on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Hoyer off the play fake for Williams. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. The general consensus that Brian Hoyer was acquired by San Francisco to be a one-year solution at quarterback. I know Brian... He looks at it as a long-term solution. He wants to complete passes like that and say, I'm no stopgap. I'm here to stay, right? <laughs> and before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. We'll head back to FedEx Field after this timeout. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Second quarter now. Brandon Gaughton, Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football, and they've got it here with a first down. Fake to hide. Now it's Hoyer. And Salak here, left side. And a big hit at the end of that one. He's knocked down hard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They go play action with Hyde. Now it's Hoyer. To the right side, caught by Salah. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. They'll throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Trent Murphy coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. 
And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. play fake he'll look to throw and he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line a really good pickup of 28 yards let's make this one simple what a catch especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds toe tapping and of course foot dragging a little tapestry if you will oh I like it of a yard and it'll be second down well it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play and now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone couldn't do it there it'll be interesting to see offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game intended receiver and it's third down now we've got third and goal coming up and couldn't you imagine being in that little partner you know they're looking at each other saying we can't come away with just three points after this drive yeah they've covered a lot of ground they want more than that three and this offense on third down today they've been good three for four thus far they're looking at a third and goal here he'll look to throw they'll set up the screen this is Williams and a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the lead moves to 10 zip. So they started that drive from the shadows of their own end zone all the way back at the two, and they're able to get three out of it. And you know, shadows tend to scare people, right? <laughs> not in this case. This offense was not jumpy at all, handled it very well, put themselves into a position to score. Pinion now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. We get a look now at the 49ers defense as they get into position. And for their efforts so far, they deserve a little defensive montage here. I like that. I like how you recognize what they're doing out there and how much fun they're having because that's indeed what's going on. 
beating him to the punch just about every snap now. Swarming, swooping, taking the ball away. This is a lot of fun to watch. Opportunistic, right? Uh, very much so. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. Offense. And that'll set them back five. This is Kelly. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one goes for 24 yards. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Cousins. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. They go play action. Cousins. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. fake. They'll look to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Malcolm Smith in from his linebacker's spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Second down, Cousins. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. 
So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Third and long for Cousins. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Here's Tressway now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they'll play keep away from the returner, as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> They start the drive with highs. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Hoyer on the left side it's McDonald and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory a good pick up there 26 yards nice play call a little bit of play action right there if you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end Tim Carey for Hyde. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. Short game down to about the 33. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. way forward here for a modest gain. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. 
some of the most unselfish players on any football team? Defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now Hoyer, and able to haul it in is Kittle. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Boy, you're going to hand it off to Hyde. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10 yard line. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Larry Ridley in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Niners on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Back to throw here. And this is going to be incomplete. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Gold is able to put it through, and that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. Robbie Gold puts another three on the board. 11 years in Chicago, all-time leading scorer for the Bears, and he had 10 games with the Giants in 2016. Now he takes over for Phil Dawson in San Francisco. You ever met Robbie? I have not. Good guy? Good guy. He came to a studio I was working one time and actually kicked one over the building. How about that? And he, quite an interesting story going from Chicago all those years, then New York quickly, and now all the way on the other coast to San Fran. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. There's Rob Kelly now as he and the offense head back out. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. First down throw for Cousins toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Now that gives us time here. A little bit of a sad note to pass along that I'm sure most folks have heard. Y.A. Tittle passed away at the age of 97, time pro bowler in the NFL. Phenomenal player. Started his career at LSU in college. Moved on to the NFL. 
mercifully, his name, Yelberton Abraham, shortened to YA. A lot of guys called him Yat for YA Tittle. But he played in San Francisco, helped popularize the alley-oop pass. And the Niners get there and bring him down. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Try and start this drive in the air. Deep ball for Goodwin. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the off-throw corner, Josh Norman. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Charles, looking back to last week, the injury bug really bit some teams. Heck, Houston's defense lost J.J. Watt and Whitney Merciless about 10 minutes apart. Has not been a good last two weeks in terms of injuries to key players in the NFL. Dalvin Cook, the rookie runner in Minnesota, who was playing so well, he got hurt the previous week. And as you noted, this week for Houston, Merciless goes down, torn back. He's out for the season. J.J. Watt fracturing his leg, gone for the season. And how about in New York? Odell Beckham Jr., fractured ankle, going to get a second opinion, likely gone for the season. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. 
On first and ten, Cousins. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it there to Vernon Davis, the tight end. And it's second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Cousins again. Out to the left here to Reed. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Cousins now to throw on first down. Daxon with a grab over the middle. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Again, it's Cousins. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Curley's got it complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. to go in this first half.
So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. The Niners on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is going to be third and 13. Here we go now. Three and 19. Ah. Looking to throw. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. In his third year on is the punter, Bradley Pinion, to kick it away. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Time running short here. They'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we send you down to Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Down to the middle of the first. Reed's got the catch, but fumbles here. 49ers will pick up the loose football and score. 49ers up by a touchdown. First and 10, Smith's able to zero in on the QB here. This will go as a loss of 10. Redskins have it later on the drive. Williams is gonna get the quarterback here. This ends up as a loss of nine. Redskins take over late in the second. Thomas has got the sack here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. Let's get back up to our nation's capital as we rejoin Brandon God. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive. Is it, I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because 
What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? The third quarter begins with a run by Hyde. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So when you call a corner blitz, what a lot of teams call a cat blitz, you're expected to come after the quarterback. But in this case, he ran into the ball carrier. Really nice technique, because what you do is you come deep as the deepest offensive player so he can't get outside of you. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. They shakes him off. And got his man complete. A big play there for the Niners. 49 yards. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. And now a first down following that long gain. Handoff comes to high. Stops short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Another tote for the afternoon workhorse. It's high. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. The offense on third down tonight, they're at 50%, four for eight. They're looking at third and a few inches. He'll look to throw, and he finds McDonald. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So the chain gang now done for the drive. Ball on the 10, first and goal. Hoyer. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Let's go. And back to the ground. Hyde. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness. 
think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. This offense so far on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and goal. He'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And Gold is able to put it through, and that's going to make this a 16-0 ball game. So three field goals for him here, and this last one helps him stretch out the lead. And he's been solid as usual. And this is what you need to do. Make sure you get points out of every possession. And so far, they've done a nice job of that. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Looking for Crowder, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. I tell you, you know how press conferences when you sign guys like this. But he's been a real difference maker so far. That's now two interceptions for him in the game. And when you're getting contributions up and down your 53-man roster, you're going to be all right. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's incomplete. Carlos Hyde was the target. And now it's second down. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. They'll 
give to Hyde. And not much running room. Down to the 32. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will stretch the lead to three scores now at 19-0. So making four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been an automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On the run, it's Kelly. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They go play action here on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I'm going to shift gears for a second. You and I were discussing quarterbacks from that 2004 draft class that have maybe fallen off a little bit. Not writing them up, but Roethlisberger, Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers struggling a little bit this season. They certainly are, and Roethlisberger may be the most glaring because he's on a team that still leads their division. Pittsburgh at three and two at this point, but he threw five interceptions, two pick sixes in his last outing against Jacksonville. Manning and, of course, Rivers, neither one of their teams likely to make the playoffs. So maybe there's room for the new guard. Maybe a Cam Newton coming in, a Russell Wilson. Yeah, Matt Ryan. Oh, I guess he's been around for a while, but some of those guys, just a changing of the guard yeah. at that position to some degree. Trying to ascend to the top, and maybe some of those younger guys like Marcus Mariota, yeah, James, James Winston, Winston, Derek Carr. We'll see. Off the play fake, Cousins. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. 
got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Now high. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Another good run there, and now we're seeing an offense that's imposed its will on a defense. When we talk about that all the time, what does it really mean? It means that the guys on the offensive line, they feel like they can do whatever they want. They're in the huddle saying, run it again. Give us another chance to smack someone and create some space. On the defensive side of the ball, not only have they imposed their will against you, you're almost powerless to figure out what you're doing there, but you got to keep your spirit up at the same time, and they're taking that too. And down he goes just beyond the 35, and that pretty move got him some extra space to run. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Here we go now. Blue Blue they'll run it now out of the gun. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. Let's go. Green, 39. Green. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Here's Bradley Pinion now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. And not great starting field position here for the offense. This is Kelly. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10 yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. They'll go again with Kelly. <laughs> And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now.
The Redskins on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and four. Working out of the gun, Cousins. In trouble here, and down he goes, back at the eight-yard line. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Here's Tressway now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Here's Curley. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And possession will switch hands first and ten. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, and he's got Goodwin complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. Here we go. Green, 39. They run high. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brandon's all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. From the pistol, they'll run with Hyde. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. 
five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. High. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Third down, Carlos Hyde. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for San Francisco. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. The 20. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Well, kind of interesting for sure. It worked out for them. They only had a yard to go. You know, when you do that fake punt, you're kind of starting back further than you need to when you only have one yard. Yeah, and I guess they felt like that was a true full fake because most of the time with a yard to go, you leave your offense on the field, you run something from your playbook. But here, they gave the full impression they were going to punt it away and picked up the first down. They definitely surprised yeah, us. Yeah, I was going to say surprise, surprise. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Here's High. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down, Hyde. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Hoyer. The quick slant caught. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When you're rebuilding, we know you got to hit it big in the draft, but you also want to acquire free agents. They're going to really set the tone for your team. Pierre Garçon had some history with head coach Kyle Shanahan previously. I think that's why they picked him up. He's got great history in this league, of course, starting with the Colts, then the Redskins, now the Niners. Now, this will be the ninth play on this drive. his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Tim Hightower taking it in from a yard out. And the 49ers add on to their lead. Well, we got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. And that will bump the lead up to 26. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run.
The punter Pinion now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Cousins on first down. Wide open receiver complete. 20. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 72 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Punch it in. And some big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground right at the line of scrimmage. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have. And what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. They'll come out in the pistol. And they'll try again down here with Kelly. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Rob Kelly taking it in from four yards out. And the Redskins are able to cut into that deficit. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. and Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a 19-point game. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And Rob Kelly finished it all off with a touchdown run. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's Hyde as they begin on the ground. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. 
But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is by Thema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Now Hoyer. They go screen pass to Hyde. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So the offense has it first and 10. Running left, here's Hyde. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long, he's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They run with Hightower, and no room that time, getting it to about the 46. A gain of a yard gets them back where they started. Now it's third and 10. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up players so they can't run the football. On third down, here's Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for San Francisco. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds and they spotted it the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. So out now come the Redskins. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time but still down here. When you're playing catch up Every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. They run with it. It's Kelly. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Second down, Cousins. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. A lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. 
The Redskins on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. Here it's third and two. From the gun, here's Cousins. He finds his target, it's Crowder. And he's able to get it to the 33, good enough for a first down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Cousins. And he finds a man on the crossing route. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. And Davis has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. On play action, Cousins. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. The Redskins on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. Here it's third and three. Cousins again. He's going to let it fly. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll hand it off to Kelly. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. It'll be a gain of eight yards. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. A first down throw for Cousins. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The rookie from Stanford, Solomon Thomas. And it'll make this a second and long. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. False start, offense. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five.
Cousins now on second down. And the pressure gets to him again. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Got a man out of the backfield. It's Chris Thompson. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A crazy sequence here. A huge gain that time, but it still leaves him well short for fourth down. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They have the big cushion here in the final stages of this one. I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be, because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel, no one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. You name it, all those things they had to deal with, they were able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Yeah, they did it very convincingly, and now the final moments of this one. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Again, it's high. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Landover.